This is Gino and Nadia, and this is the investment property that will fund their retirement. Problem is, Gino spent the last eight months working on the basement. How long did he tell you it would take? Four weeks. And it looks like this. They need help. You'll get it. have the right mindset to be real estate investors, but on this current project, they're in way over their heads. Now, because their enthusiasm is their greatest asset, I want to channel all that energy to make sure they come out on top. Gino and Nadia bought their home for $245,000. Their mortgage is $800 a month. Good morning. Nice to meet you. You too, Gino. Gino. Wife Nadia. Nadia. Nadia, nice to meet nice you to as well. So tell me a little bit about this property. You guys don't actually live in the house, which is why you're hanging out outside, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. No. So there's two units in this there's house. There's two units. There's a four bedroom upstairs. Wow. And depending what you do downstairs, there'll be <laughs> something downstairs. <laughs> it's a four bedroom upstairs and an empty basement. And an empty yeah. basement. The basement was rented for uh, almost four years. Yeah. And when the tenants finally moved out, I thought, you know what, let's spruce it up a bit. And I just started ripping things out rather than putting things up. <laughs> She's fed up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there's no money coming in if it's Exactly, under there's no money right? coming in. And uh, I had the mortgage redone uh, about a year ago, and I had it re-amortized yep. uh, to 32 years. Wow. So that means I'll be over 90 before this place is paid off. So I got to do something quick. So we can go into this space? We can yes, go into let's the basement? Go and take a look. All right. Let's give take us your a professional around. opinion. Absolutely. <laughs> After you guys. Okay, side entrance. I like it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, where am I? <laughs> you better lead me around. You're, in, I'm the, lost. you're in the landing. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, the first impression is, oh boy, what is this room? What it, is this room? What is this door going to and coming from? Good question. Maybe that's your timeout room. The hinges are on backwards. <laughs> What's that room there? This is the main, uh, uh, what would you call it, uh, family room, dining room, uh, TV room. Um, potentially, it could be anything. <laughs> it feels really tight down here, yeah. to be honest. Maybe it's just the way it's configured. What's a bathroom? The bathroom. Here? There's a bathroom right here in the middle. Right of the there. <laughs> Show me this bathroom. I gotta see this. It's in the bathroom. Oh. Well, it's not bad. You know, it's clean, it's functional. You can envision it with a ceiling and uh, proper uh, hanging bars and some nice towels, you know. It's very How sad. good's your vision there, Scott? Come on. We've got the zigzag pattern going. Yeah. There. You kind of got a deke around everything. Mm -hmm. It makes it feel tighter than it actually is. And the hallway leading to... Oh, my goodness. Whatever. Leading... Oh, good name for it. The whatever, whatever room. The whatever room. It's big. Mm hmm That's for sure. Lots of space down here. You're getting into the real estate game yes, at yeah. this point. What, yeah. What's what's changed? Why are you doing this now? Uh, I've been working since I was 17. And it's time for my money to work for me for a change. Bingo. We are committed to get this thing done. Mm -hmm. And the sooner the better. What's going through your mind? Get it done. Get it done. <laughs> how long has this been going on? Eight months. Eight months. Eight months. How long did he tell you it would take? Uh, a month. Four weeks. It was supposed to be four weeks. Four weeks. I'm going to take a look around, figure out the space, and come up with your best options. Okay. Sound good? Absolutely. Thanks for the home tour, Gino. Yeah. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. I gotta tell you what I love about you guys. You've decided to take your financial future into your own hands. 
You've gone out on a limb and you bought an investment property. The key is to get the bottom apartment going and you're only using half the house. Yeah. I know you guys brought me here for a reason. Yeah. And I'm going to show you the two reasons why I'm here. We're ready. Yeah. Okay, so this is option number one. Wow. So in option number one, I've basically pulled everything out of this space, opened it up, gone with a really good open concept, and put two good-sized bedrooms at the back of the apartment. The bathroom has moved all the way over. The vanity and the toilet are on one side, and the shower's on the other. Okay? Linear, linear, not the zigzag pattern. Mm -hmm. I've done a dedicated laundry room for the tenants downstairs. Oh, well, that's Excellent. a bonus. Yeah, that's good. This is a brand new kitchen. It's got a really cool island in the middle. The whole apartment is very open concept, very modern. Nothing like it is now. That's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> that you're not doing. <laughs> uh, there you go. Yes, it's a lot of, a work, lot of work, but it's going to be worth it. I love it. It works. No, I like it. Yeah. Here's the hard part to swallow. I'm ready. <laughs> We're ready. I don't know if you're ready. <laughs> We're not, but hit it. Yeah, okay. hit us anyways. Option number one is a $55,000 renovation. Whoa. This two-bedroom apartment should bring in about $900 a month in rent. Okay. In option number one, with the added income, if you were to put everything towards your mortgage, the house would be paid off in 15 years, not 32 That's years. That's better. That's better, yeah. You like this option? We do. It's beautiful, yeah. Okay. But... But, but a lot of money. <laughs> there's always another option, isn't there? There is. And you better hold on to the edge of your seat because you're definitely not expecting this one either. Here's option number two. Whoa. What the? Okay, this is really making me dizzy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is this a three bedroom? You got it. Option number two is maximizing the space. It's a three bedroom apartment. When you come down the stairs, we still have a good size living room, dining room, open concept kitchen. I really like the impact. When a tenant walks in, they see all that space, you're gonna sell it to them right away. Here's the thought in option number two. So completely forget the existing layout. Let's start over. Option number one, take the bathroom, move it over to this side of the apartment, Put a laundry room beside it, two big bedrooms at the back, nice L-shaped kitchen on this side, big open concept. But option number two, move the bathroom over to this side, shift the kitchen forward a little bit, use that extra space for a third bedroom. Option number two, $60,000 renovation. Ouch. But this apartment will bring in $1,100 a month in rent. Good. Most of that is positive cash flow. In option number two, if you put all that extra income towards the mortgage, the house would be paid off in 12 years. That works. That works. <laughs> yeah, that works that too. Works. Yeah. Do you feel like you're leaning one way or the other yet? I know I am. Yeah, so am I. If we're leaving but I the don't same, think we're on the same Probably page. not. <laughs> oh boy. At the count of three, you guys just blurt out which option it is and, and show it to me. Is it option one or option two? All right. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Two. <laughs> Great. That's just wonderful. Yeah. Okay. option one because being a basement I'd like the openness and I like all the natural light you're gonna get I think option two is nice it has three bedrooms has a lot more potential that way you still have the open concept to a degree all right. I like option one well Scott you can't hide out here forever you know <laughs> no. So, are you guys going to go with option one, the two-bedroom layout, or option two, the three-bedroom layout? I think option one makes it both sense for us.
Whoa. Throw me for a loop. <laughs> I thought for sure option two. It is a lot airier with option one down there. It's a lot more space. Okay. So option number one it is. Okay. I'm going to show you how to really do this, Gino. All right. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, son. I brought our daughter Daniela here to help out. Nice to meet you. You guys ready to get to work? Plumbing's coming off. Electricals are getting tied back. This is your retirement plan. This is your investment. Now smash it. You know what? I don't need no freaking sledgehammer. seen the side of them. <laughs> it's just too funny. <laughs> Pretty boy, let's get this done. Did he Somewhere. just call me pretty boy? Come on, son, what are you hearing? Oh, come on, old man. Let's go. Who are you calling pretty? Huh? That was heavy. This is awesome. It's happening. It's getting done. It didn't take too long to clear the place out, but it is going to take a while to put it back together. Stage one, we've swept and cleaned the floor. Now we're going to start laying out our dry core flooring. Everything can breathe underneath so we don't run into moisture problems. Gino, are you ready to start laying the floor? Let's do this. Start in the Show corner, we'll work our way across. We have the space framed out. We have to increase the window sizes in the bedrooms. We need proper light and ventilation, which means we're cutting out the foundation. <sighs> Nice. Now we're talking. Whoa. Hello. Hi, <laughs> son. How are you? <laughs> Good. How are you? Wow. Big changes over the weekend, right? Huge. 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 Yeah. Come on for a quick tour. You can start to see the layout. Everything's been rewired. Everything's been framed. I am shocked at the That's amount amazing. of work in the little time that you had to do this. It is amazing. Your crew must have been here day and night. Well, it hasn't been eight months, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> did you install that window? No, I did not. It was here when we moved in. I've heard that Originally, excuse before. Yes. When somebody cut this window in, which they didn't even do a very good no. job of, they did not support any of these beams up above, so they're just sitting on the window. There. Let's see how it's stiff it is there. I can kind of open it. But there's so much pressure coming down on this window that over time what will happen is eventually you won't be able to open the window and then it's going to actually crack. I can't close it. I can never have accomplished this on my own. Not to this level of detail anyway. It would have taken me forever. is that some of the ceiling joists in the basement were sitting right on top of this window, which isn't supposed to hold any weight at all. I'm going to crank this in place. This is going to push up against these beams. It'll take the weight off of the window. So far, so good. The load is now off of the window, right? Yeah. It's sitting right here. 
Do you want to see what's going on outside? Yeah, well, it would be interesting to see how the lentil goes in. I'll take the first lentil, got to do two. This one will sit inside the wall. Okay. And the joist will now rest on here, and that weight will be bridged from foundation to foundation. And the second one will sit this way. Oh, to support the bricks. You got it. This one will sit just like that there. One to hold the inside weight, one to hold the outside weight, and then all the pressure is off this window. Fantastic. Let's complete this mission today. Second lintel in place. Tim, you got that side? Yep. Go. <laughs> Looks like whipped cream. You want to taste it? Not really. I'm amazed at how much work was accomplished and how detailed. I was just going to just make it look pretty, but it wouldn't have been right. This is done right. Hey, Tim, how are Gino. you? I'm good, Gino. How are you? Yeah, too bad. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Hi. What's happening, buddy? A little bit of drywall mudding and taping, putting some of the fixtures together. This was the setup in your old washroom, Pretty you know much. that. And just about the right location oh, as well. Man. So you used to come in the door, vanity here. Vanity there. And then you could either scoot around or step over the toilet to get into the tub. And the moment we've all been waiting for, getting this toilet in place. Have a look at this layout. So we got the vanity going here. Lots of room for the toilet. Fantastic. And the shower on that side. This is gonna be an awesome bathroom. You gotta be pumped. It's straight in, straight out. This this makes a lot of sense. You got some time to help with the kitchen? If it saves me money, I got time. Alright, everything that you help with is gonna save money. You're gonna have to line up that yep. there. You see it? I see it. You gotta be feeling pretty good, man. I am. A little overwhelmed, but it, it's going well. Why are you overwhelmed? Just the scope and the scale of it. Yeah. It's all at once. Like normally a one-man job does one job, goes on to the next. Right. Here you've got like all sorts of trades all all at once. I don't mess yeah. around. No, you don't. I got the carpenters here ready to go. The floors are going down. The drywallers are the here. Masters, the electrician is here. <laughs> Everything happens all at once. It's moving very quickly. I like it that they're here 12 hours a day <laughs> and it's getting done. <laughs> looks rich, but I got it at a deal, $5 a square foot, didn't spend a lot of money, it's under $200 worth of marble right there. Other things like the dishwasher are a huge bonus for a tenant, they're going to be willing to pay extra for it, and just because it's a rental doesn't mean I don't pay attention to design detail, so I'm not going to leave these exposed pillars, Tim and I are going to cap them off with a couple pieces of MDF jams, really inexpensive, about six bucks each. It's gonna finish the look. Now that this apartment is finally ready to rent out, I brought in a local real estate agent to get an opinion of value. I'm telling you right now, this is not what you're gonna be expecting. Unbelievable, stunning. Two bedrooms, absolutely ideal for a basement apartment. Gino and Nadia bought this house as an investment. How do you think this is going to perform? I think that you are easily looking at $1,000 a month. I myself would ask $1,100. Perfect. $1,100 it is. I'll always go with the higher number. Go with the higher number. Now, what do you think this has done to the overall value of the home? I think you've added $40,000 to $45,000 in value. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Thanks for the information. You've done a great job. All right. Peanut. Pleasure. Thanks, man. Gino and Nadia's big investment is ready to start making money. Scott's here. Good morning. <laughs> 
I'm gonna let you guys go first. Oh, good. Up to you, babe. Have a look at your financial Whoa. future. <laughs> oh, wow. Get in there, you know. Oh, wow. This is awesome. Absolutely awesome. It's not even the same house. I sure hope not. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Walk on in, check it out. I don't know what to say. <laughs> this is what you were going to do on your own, wow. isn't it? Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow. You, you captured my vision to the teeth. Uh -huh. so you had a bit of a kitchen here before, didn't you, Gina? Uh, I had something you would loosely refer to as a kitchen, yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This is nice. Just love it. This is not what you would expect to see, is it? No, not, not, not in a not uh, basement apartment whatsoever. This is absolutely fantastic. You got your fridge, you got your stove, you got a dishwasher in here. The renters love the dishwasher. It's an added bonus, right? I don't, I don't know what to say. Wow. It is absolutely amazing. I can't believe it. I love the backsplash. Love it, love it, love it. Good. Absolutely. Glad you noticed it because that is our wow factor on this I one is the it. backsplash. Floors are fantastic. I love the it's floors. It's a good color. I like the I didn't the, even see the, the seams. Fix the structure of the window, which the structure of the building was sitting on the window. Being here almost almost every day, <laughs> waiting for Tim to kick me out, <laughs> I saw that this was built from the ground up properly. Absolutely. And that once it was done properly, then it was made to look pretty. I always say it, it's got to look just as good behind the walls as it does in Exactly. Front of them. This is just the beginning. Oh, oh wow. Very this is huge. Nice. Good lord. <laughs> this is huge. I cannot get over the transformation. Huge amount of room. Good size bed, two end tables. There's a desk in here. Seating area. Gino's like, it's it. This is where he's retiring, right here. Bedroom number two. Oh, very nice. Two times the fun. This is almost as big as the first one. It's almost as big, very yeah. close. Great size bedroom. Uh, as a second bedroom, sometimes you have to compromise and have something a little smaller, but this has got. Full double closet yeah. oh. and lots of space. The paint colors are nice too. Nice yeah. choice of colors. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Nice. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is the old one. No, These is. are your existing appliances. Oh, this is very nice. This is a great little spot for the laundry room. You've got some storage space. Sorry. Look at how cleaned up this room it's is. It's been finished off properly. Yeah. We used yeah. to have a bathroom here. It used to be here. You want to see what I did? Yeah, let's see the bathroom. Okay, you better come check this out. Oh, wow, look at this. No that, more no what? more shuffling around. Is that, <laughs> there's actually room? <laughs> wow, this is great. Yeah. When do I move in? Yeah, how much time were you willing to spend in the last washroom that was in this place? Yeah. Don't oh, lie to me. It was like a pee and dash. <laughs> You've heard of Dine and Dash? <laughs> Brought an agent through the space today. The suggested rental rate for this space, $1,100 a month. Ooh. Very good. That's $13,200 a year in income from this apartment alone. Oh. So with the two apartments, you're definitely in the green. Definitely. In a big way. And he said your property value has gone up by forty-five thousand dollars. Wow! Yes. Oh! Oh! What time is it? It's money-making time. <laughs> you got it, sir. Thank you. Okay. So let's get it up for rent. You got a two-bedroom, beautiful apartment. Now we call this a raised bungalow because of the height of it. And so put that in the listing. For more information about this show, please visit hgtv.ca. Got you a little something? First and last month's rent? Not quite. Not quite. <laughs> ah. Scott.
Thanks for the education. So when do we start the next one? I like that. That's pretty good. Actually, that's a really nice picture. <laughs> Hopefully that'll get you some more rent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like option one because being a basement, I like the openness and I like all the natural light you're going to get. I think option two is nice. It has three bedrooms, has a lot more potential that way. You still have the open concept to a degree. All right. I like option one. Well, Scott. You can't hide out here forever, you know. No. So, are you guys going to go with option one, the two-bedroom layout, or option two, the three-bedroom layout? I think option one makes it both sense for us. Whoa! Oh. Throw me for a loop. <laughs> I thought for sure option two. It is a lot airier with option one down there. It's a lot more space. Okay. So option number one it is. Okay. I'm going to show you how to really do this, Gino. All right. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, son. I brought our daughter Daniela here to help out. Nice to meet you. You guys ready to get to work? Plumbing's coming off. Electricals are getting tied back. This is your retirement plan. This is your investment. Now smash it. You know what? I don't need no friggin' sledgehammer. seen the side of them. <laughs> it's just too funny. <laughs> Pretty boy, let's get this done. Did he just room. call me pretty boy? Come on, something wrong with your hearing? Oh, come on, old man. Let's go. Who are you calling pretty? Huh? <sighs> that was heavy. Oh. This is awesome. It's happening. And it's time for my money to work for me for a change. Bingo. We are committed to get this thing done. Mm -hmm. And the sooner the better. What's going through your mind? <laughs> get it done. Get it done. <laughs> how long has this been going on? Eight months. Eight months. Eight months. How long did he tell you it would take? Uh, a month, four weeks. It was supposed to be four weeks. Four weeks. I'm going to take a look around, figure out the space, and come up with your best options. Okay. Sound good? Absolutely. Thanks for the home tour, Gino. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. I got to tell you what I love about you guys. You've decided to take your financial future into your own hands. You've gone out on a limb and you bought an investment property. The key is to get the bottom apartment going and you're only using half the house yeah. I know you guys brought me here for a reason yeah and I'm gonna show you the two reasons why I'm here we're ready yeah okay so this is option number one Wow so in option number one I've basically pulled everything out of this space opened it up gone with a really good open concept and put two good sized bedrooms at the back of the apartment the bathroom has moved all the way over. The vanity and the toilet are on one side, and the shower's on the other. Okay? Linear, linear, not the zigzag pattern. I've done a dedicated laundry room for the tenants downstairs. 
Well, that's Excellent. a bonus. Yeah, that's good. This is a brand new kitchen. It's got a really cool island in the middle. The whole apartment is very open concept, very modern. Nothing like it is now. That's a lot of work. <laughs> that you're not doing. <laughs> uh, there you go. Yes, it's a lot of, a work, lot of work, but it's going to be worth it. I love it. It works. No, I like it. Yeah. Here's the hard part to swallow. I'm ready. <laughs> We're ready. I don't know if you're ready. <laughs> We're not, but hit it. Yeah, okay. hit us anyways. Option number one is a $55,000 renovation. Whoa. Oh. This two-bedroom apartment should bring in about $900 a month in rent. Okay. In option number one, with the added income, if you were to put everything towards your mortgage, the house would be paid off in 15 years, not 32 That's years. That's better. That's better, yeah. You like this option? We do. It's beautiful, yeah. Okay. But... But, but <laughs> That's a lot of money. <laughs> there's always another option, isn't there? There is. And you better hold on to the edge of your seat because you're definitely not expecting this one either. Here's option number two. Whoa. What the? Not even the same house. It's I fun. sure hope not. Oh, my Lord. Uh, uh, walk on in. Check it out. Uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> this is what you were going to do on your own, isn't it? Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> You, you captured my vision to the T. Uh -huh. so you had a bit of a kitchen here before, didn't you, Gina? Uh, I had something you would loosely refer to as a kitchen, yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This is nice. Just love it. This is not what you would expect to see, is it? No, not, not, not in a not uh, basement apartment whatsoever. This is absolutely fantastic. You got your fridge, you got your stove. You got a dishwasher in here. The renters love the dishwasher. It's an added bonus, right? I don't know what, I don't know what to say. Wow. It is absolutely amazing. I can't believe it. I love the backsplash. Love it, love it, love it. Absolutely. Good. Glad you noticed it because that is our wow factor on this I one is the it. backsplash. Floors are fantastic. I love the it's floors. It's a good color. I like I the, even see the, the seams. Fix the structure of the window, which the structure of the building was sitting on the window. Being here almost almost every day, <laughs> waiting for Tim to kick me out, <laughs> I saw that this was built from the ground up properly. Absolutely. And that once it was done properly, then it was made to look pretty. I always say it's got to look just as good behind the walls as it does in Exactly. Front of them. This is just the beginning. Oh, oh, wow, very this is huge. Nice. Good Lord. <laughs> this is huge. I cannot get over the transformation. Huge amount of room. Good size bed. Two end tables. There's a nice, desk in nice here. Seating area? Gino's like, it's it. This oh. is where he's retiring, right here. <laughs> Bedroom number two. Oh, very oh. nice. Two times the fun. Very almost as big as the first one. It's almost as big, very yeah. close. Great size bedroom. Uh, as a second bedroom, sometimes you have to compromise and have something a little smaller, but this has got full double closet yeah. and lots of space. The paint colors are nice too, nice yeah. choice of colors. Yeah. Look at that. Very nice. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is the old one. What These is? are your existing appliances. Oh, this is very nice. This is a great little spot for the laundry room. You've got some storage space. Look at how cleaned up this room it's is. It's been finished off properly. We yeah. yeah. used to have a bathroom here. It used to be here. You want to see what I did? Yeah, let's see the bathroom. Okay, you better come check this out. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is good behind the walls as it does in Exactly. Front of them. This is just the beginning. Oh, oh, wow, very this is huge. Nice. Good Lord. <laughs> this is huge. I cannot get over the transformation. Huge amount of room. Good size bed. Two end tables. There's a nice, desk in nice here. Seating area? Gino's like, it's it. This oh. is where he's retiring, right here. <laughs> Bedroom number two. Oh, very oh. nice. 
two times the fun. There. Almost as big as the first one. It's almost as big, very yeah. close. Great size bedroom. Uh, as a second bedroom, sometimes you have to compromise and have something a little smaller, but this has got full double closet yeah. and lots of space. The paint colors are nice too, nice yeah. choice of colors. Yeah. Look at that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is the old one. These are your existing appliances. Oh, this is very nice. This is a great little spot for the laundry room. You've got some storage space. Look at how cleaned up this room it's is. It's been finished off properly. We yeah. yeah. used have a bathroom here. It used to be here. You want to see what I did? Yeah, let's see the bathroom. Okay, you better come check this out. Oh, wow, look at this. No more, no more shuffling around. <laughs> There's actually room? <laughs> wow. This is great. Yeah. When do I move in? Yeah. How much time were you willing to spend in the last washroom that was in this place? Yeah. Don't lie to me. It was like a pee and dash. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even say you yeah. It wasn't even sitting yeah. down. You've heard of dine and dash? <laughs> I brought an agent through the space today. The suggested rental rate for this space Eleven $1 hundred dollars a month. Ooh. Very good. That's thirteen thousand two hundred dollars a year in income from this apartment alone. So with the two apartments, you're definitely in the green. Definitely. In a big way. And he said your property value has gone up by forty-five thousand dollars. Wow. Yes. Oh. Oh. What time is it? It's money making time. Yeah. <laughs> You got it, sir. Thank you. Okay, so let's get it up for rent. You got a two-bedroom, beautiful apartment. Now, we call this a raised bungalow because of the height of it. And so we'll put that in the list. For more information about this show, please visit hgtv.ca. Got you a little something. First and last month's rent. It's moving very quickly. I like it that they're here 12 hours a day <laughs> and it's getting done. <laughs> looks rich, but I got it at a deal, $5 a square foot, didn't spend a lot of money, it's under $200 worth of marble right there. Other things like the dishwasher are a huge bonus for a tenant, they're going to be willing to pay extra for it, and just because it's a rental doesn't mean I don't pay attention to design detail, so I'm not going to leave these exposed pillars, Tim and I are going to cap them off with a couple pieces of MDF jams, really inexpensive, about six bucks each. It's gonna finish the look. Now that this apartment is finally ready to rent out, I brought in a local real estate agent to get an opinion of value. I'm telling you right now, this is not what you're gonna be expecting. Unbelievable, stunning. Two bedrooms, absolutely ideal for a basement apartment. Gino and Nadia bought this house as an investment. How do you think this is going to perform? I think that you are easily looking at $1,000 a month. I myself would ask $1,100. Perfect. $1,100 it is. I'll always go with the higher number. Go with the higher number. Now, what do you think this has done to the overall value of the home? I think you've added $40,000 to $45,000 in value. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Thanks for the information. You've done a great job. All right. Peanut, Pleasure. thanks, man. Gino and Nadia's big investment is ready to start making money. Scott's here. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'm going to let you guys go first. Oh, good. Up to you, babe. Have a look at your financial Whoa. future. <laughs> oh, wow. Get in there, Gino. Oh, wow. This is awesome. Absolutely awesome. 
It's not even the same house. I sure hope not. Oh my lord. <laughs> Walk on in, check it out. I don't know what to say. <laughs> this is what you were going to do on your own, wow. isn't it? Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow. You, you captured my vision to the T. So you had a bit of a kitchen here before, didn't you, Gina? Uh, I had something you would loosely refer to as a kitchen, yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This is nice. Just love it. This is nice. This has a lot more potential that way. You still have the open concept to a degree. All right. I like option one. Well, Scott, you to... can't hide out here forever, you know. <laughs> no. So, are you guys gonna go with option one, the two-bedroom layout, or option two, the three-bedroom layout? I think option one makes it both sense for us. Whoa! Oh. Throw me for a loop. <laughs> I thought for sure option two. It is a lot airier with option one down there. It's a lot more space. Okay. So option number one it is. Okay. I'm going to show you how to really do this, Gino. All right. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, son. I brought our daughter, Daniela, here to help out. Nice to meet you. You guys ready to get to work? Plumbing's coming off. Electricals are getting tied back. This is your retirement plan. This is your investment. Now smash it. You know what? I don't need no friggin' sledgehammer. Oh, there he goes. Oh my god. <laughs> Who found this guy? Alright, everybody, clear out. Gino's coming through. I got some of the girls doing some work. Well, You're doing right such now. a good job. seen the side of them. <laughs> it's just too funny. <laughs> Pretty boy, let's get this done. Did he just room. call me pretty boy? What's wrong with your hearing? Oh, come on, old man. Let's go. Who are you calling pretty? Huh? <sighs> that was heavy. Oh. This is awesome! It's happening! It's getting done! It didn't take too long to clear the place out, but it is going to take a while to put it back together. Stage one, we've swept and cleaned the floor.